Hey everyone, welcome back to Precooked Sociology. Today we're diving into a pretty bold and fascinating topic. What do radical feminists believe about the family? Specifically, we'll be looking at the ideas of Shulamith Firestone, a key figure in radical feminism. Get ready. This one's going to challenge the way you think about the world. So, when you hear the term radical feminism, you might think it's just feminism, but more extreme, right? Well, in a way, yes. Radical feminists believe that simply tweaking the laws isn't enough to free women from men's control. They argue that to truly achieve equality, we need to completely rethink and reshape society, starting with the family. One of the most influential radical feminists, Shulamith Firestone, had some pretty revolutionary ideas. In her book, The Dialectic of Sex, The Case for Feminist Revolution, 1970, Firestone didn't just talk about equal rights, she envisioned a world where the traditional family structure as we know it didn't exist. Let's break down some of her most interesting ideas, abolishing marriage and the family. Firestone believed that marriage and the nuclear family were tools that reinforced men's power over women. To her, the family was the root of inequality. Freedom of sexual expression, she argued for total freedom in relationships. People should be able to live together or alone with whoever they want, regardless of age or gender. Revolutionizing child rearing. Firestone proposed that children should be raised in communal households of around 10 adults. These adults would apply for a license to live together for about 7 to 10 years to raise the kids. Test tube babies. Yep, you heard that right. Firestone thought that by using technology to create babies in test tubes, women could free themselves from the biological constraints of pregnancy and child rearing, which she saw as ties to patriarchy. No more mothers and fathers. In her vision, everyone in the household, adults and older kids, would share the responsibility for raising children. This way, the traditional roles of mother and father would disappear. Ending Inheritance to eliminate class divisions, Firestone suggested ending the inheritance of wealth from parents to children, early independence for kids. She also believed that children should get basic skills education and be able to choose specialist training at any age. This way, they could become financially independent early in life. Freedom for kids to choose their homes. Firestone even suggested that if kids didn't like the household they were in, they should be allowed to leave and find a more fulfilling environment. Or stay connected to supportive ones indefinitely. Firestone's ideas were definitely radical. She wrote, Unless revolution uproots the basic social organization, the biological family, the vinculum through which the psychology of power can always be smuggled, the tapeworm of exploitation will never be annihilated. Pretty intense, right? But here's the thing. While Firestone's ideas were revolutionary and imaginative, they're also really hard to implement. Abolishing the family changing the way we raise children, and restructuring society from the ground up. That's no small feat, and it raises a lot of practical questions. So, what do you think? Could a society like the one Firestone imagined ever work? Or is it just too out there? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into radical feminist theory, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.